Hello. This is Healing Hands. Um, and we're going to do a tarot reading. I'm not sure what this is going to be all about. I'm going to go with how I'm being led. All right. So, um, I'm going to start by pulling a central theme. What this reading will be focusing on. Okay. Let's get started. Gentle shuffle. Okay. So... It looks like this message is going to revolve around, you know, having hope. Maybe somebody has lost hope regarding a situation. Money, love, education. It could be anything. So, if you look at this card, you're being asked to be hopeful. This is number one, which to me is the same as, you know, like beginning afresh. I see this as, um, same as, you know, the aces, like ace of cups, ace of, um, pentacles. So this is basically telling you have hope. Don't give up hope. Okay. Um, the situation is not lost. Um, it might, it might feel turbulent at the moment. It might feel like the world is caving in on you, but spirit is trying to tell you to have hope. Let's pull more, um, additional cards and see what we pick up regarding this, um, hope full. See what other messages we're able to pick up. Okay, gentle shuffle. Oh crap, okay. <laughs> All right, so this. You have strength, queen of wands. Okay, so. And you have two more. You have the four of wands. And mentor of swords. All right, guys, give me one second to look at this. Okay. Okay, so you're being asked to be hopeful in whatever this situation is. It looks like you've had strength. You've been able to overcome thus far because you had the strength to persevere, to endure, to keep pushing. You had the strength. To hold on and stand your ground. Okay? And it looks like you've had to deal with um, a lot of opposition. People who take you for granted. People who are not honest or truthful. And um, let me see what else I'm picking up from this. So it looks like you've been able to persevere to this point. Um, if you look at this woman, the way she's stroking the lion... And the lion is smiling. So it looks like you've you've faced a lot of challenges. But it looks like you've gone through each of these challenges with a smile on your face. Um, with a smile, I'm not saying you're smiling literally. I'm just saying, you know, like you've been able to overcome whatever this is. Or stand your ground or keep forward movement despite all the 
you know, push back and they toss and turn. Like, it doesn't matter what it is, but it looks like you've been through the ringer and you've required strength. Okay, so this is Queen of Wands. And it's a, it's a very fiery queen. She is a go-getter. And she could be he or she. It could be male or female. Because we all do have duality inside of us, all right? We all do have the masculine and the feminine qualities inside of us. So this queen is a flamboyant queen. She's a, like I said, she's a go-getter. She will break down boundaries. She gets things done. All right. She is tenacious and influential. Uh, but she is somebody who has a strong willpower to keep going. Despite all odds. Determined for success. So whoever this is. Is so determined to make it. Maybe that's why I see this smile. You're so determined to. Make a success out of this situation. That you're not letting anything. Deter you. If you look at this. Two cards right. They're showing me the lion. And the lion. Isn't that odd. So we may be dealing with a Leo or an Aries. Okay. Or it may be a fire sign, like I said. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I feel like whoever this is might be a Leo or you might have Leo somewhere in your child or I'll be dealing with a Leo. Okay, going into the future, you have four of wands. This is also an Aries card. So you've, you have Aries pop out twice here. So this signifies completion. It signifies foundational structure solid foundational structure so you've been trying to build a solid structure around maybe your business or your job or your relationship but it looks like i said you've been smiling through this whole problem all right through this whole challenge or challenges that you faced but spirit wants you to know that because you've remained positive in this situation, you're going to be receiving what you've been asking for. You're going to be receiving a solid foundation. Really nice. The final card you have is the Mentor of Swords. And what I'm getting from this is that whatever the situation is, that you've been very hopeful throughout and been able to persevere and, and you know, pull from your inner strength and your inner, inner guidance and moving on and conquering and expanding, you are going to get there. And you're going to get there with all the experiences all the lessons that you've learned. You're going into this new you a better, more improved version of yourself. All right, I'm going to finish this reading with, um, I'm going to pull one Oracle card just to um, see if we can. So you do have appreciation. At the bottom. Alright. So I'm going to shuffle gently. Okay. You have a flipper. Door to spirit. That's number 32. Which is a five. 
So I think, didn't I see, um, okay, so you have a four here. So you have a four and you have a five, four and five. Okay, so there's definitely been some kind of progression in this situation. And you were able to connect to your inner knowing in this situation to keep hanging on and not like keep persevering. So it looks like you've been divinely prepared for this journey. And it looks like it's a hopeful journey. It's a, a fantastic journey. You're going to go into the new you or you've moved into the new you, the new version of yourself with all the lessons that you've learned in this situation. I hope this resonates for somebody. This is Healing Hands. Bye.